Hello everybody. Welcome back to how to build a B1 bomber. I have my turbines 99.9% .9 ready to run. All hooked up. All I've got is I ran out of Velcro so I can fasten my receiver down. And I gotta get another, I gotta shorten one more cord. I'll show you how to do that. I went in here on my fuel pump. Instead of them big old long wires. See, everything's mounted on these blocks. On these uh, piece of quarter inch plywood. And I did that real nice and neat. So when I'm done test running them, I can just transfer these plates to my uh, airplane. And uh, I'll mark them engine 1, engine 2, engine 3, engine 4 after I test run them. And uh, I got the perfect spot. Let me show you. I got a nice big panel right here on the kind of the end of the plane. And uh, when the wings are out, there's, a, there's room for me to stand right there. And uh, I can get to all my ECUs, all my batteries. And I'll probably have my switches for my radio in there and anything else to fuel it from there. But what I did is when I shortened all these wires up to make it neater, I still had these big old long phone cable things. What I did is I was at Lowe's and I've seen these uh, con connector crimps. All these are is, uh, six pin connectors. And you just cut them the length you need them. I actually took. I just took one of them, my extra cords there, and kind of cannibalized it and uh, made it the size I needed, except I was a couple pins short. So I got to, I, I got to change that. Velcro that down and my little antennas. But I got all my propane teed together. I'm pretty sure that'll work. And then I got my uh, fuel line, and I got that teed fat until it breaks apart here and then goes to each engine skinny so I think I believe that'll be fine and um, hopefully after this test run everything goes okay I'll just have to kind of transfer this I'll just have this bundle of cables going to, through to my nacelle and uh, these fuel lines and everything else will be right up there so I can get to it real easy and uh, work on it or just uh, uh, hopefully not work on it but uh, just so I can plug in my uh, ground units real easy and uh, get to my batteries real easy and uh, any, everything except changing glow plugs they don't still have to crawl underneath but I got this all these all ready to go and uh, what I'm going to do is run them through a, put them in the start cycle and uh, there won't be no propane hooked up no fuel hooked up so they won't start I also got some got to find something to mount this thing thing to and uh, don't tell me I ain't thought about that black Trans Am out there. That spoiler is nice and flat going across there. This would fit on there perfect. I could blaze down the road. <laughs> okay. And actually, another thing I was thinking on my radio here, I got that JR12X. I have a extra throttle trim up here. I can put two of these turbines on the uh, on the one deal and channel and another uh, two more on this channel then mix them together and what that allowed me to do is like my inside nacelles after I land I could sh I could uh, turn them engines off and uh, just taxi on the outboard nacelles if I wanted to I don't know just a thought might be kind of cool though but we're going to oh I guess I gotta plug the batteries in each one of these turbines got his own battery. And this, I'm, I'm probably going to, this is just sort of like a header tank that feeds them all. After I get it full, I'm going to leave it, uh, I'm going to hook it up to my five gallon fuel jug. So I know that's probably only about two minutes. Okay. Now what you'll hear, see there goes my lights, okay, they're ready to go. Now once I put them in the start cycle, uh, you'll hear the uh, propane solenoids kick in. Now this is all you got to do to start these turbines, folks, to you people that's never seen this. That puts it into the start mode. You hear the solenoids, they'd be lit by now. 
and when they get a certain temperature through these uh, probes right here it turns on the fuel pump, turns on this solenoid in the fuel pump and starts pumping fuel in there and lights the propane shuts off by itself and uh, then once they get to a certain RPM they, and they, they're idling you, you just pull that throttle trim back down then you're idling, you're ready to roll and that's just how simple it is and uh, they're ready to roll folks they won't I'll, I'll try and get this made this don't mean you guys got to stay glued to your computers today but uh, you just never know when I might throw that one in there wham we gotta we gotta find something to mount these two first uh, we ain't had no volunteers step forward put that on their back so uh, we're gonna have to find something sturdy that little card ain't gonna cut it um, but as soon as we get this figured out folks we'll make a movie we'll let you see them run it'll be first time ever four jet cats running at the same time on one board oh yeah P200s baby and they're ready to go I should have liked these engines look at the inside I want to show you guys see them turbine wheels them things are polished they look like chrome and uh, I've never seen any other turbines like that you know the rest of them are just kind of cast metal but these are actually polished and they just look good and man them things are going to pull like a horse I tell you what uh, I'm, I'm excited but uh, we're going to get this figured out folks and I'm going to make a new movie so stay tuned stay close by that pooter you ain't going to sit there and watch it but stay close and uh, we'll, we'll let you know what's up but y'all have a nice weekend and we will see you in the shop <laughs>